Right, moving on with meal two and meal three. We're gonna cook them both together because a big part of this healthy lifestyle, eating good food, is about preparation. And preparation means having the foods to hand and always having what you need when you need it and being ready. Now, I said earlier, an average chicken breast. This is probably a little bit larger. I would say for each portion of protein, you want to try and get the same size as your palm, palm of the hand. As you can see here, and I've washed my hands so they are clean. Palm of my hand there, chicken breast is a little bit bigger. This one, just by eyeballing it, is about 160, 180 grams, if not more, of chicken breast. So it's a good 50 grams of protein in there. So this would be more than enough for one meal. Um, for now, I'm gonna split this into two, just to give you an idea. And I'm gonna cut it into chicken tenders. Again, washing my hand every time I handle meat. Again, an organized kitchen saves a lot of time, especially if you're cooking a lot of foods at once, so that when you do wash up, I make sure I put everything back clean and where I know it's gonna be. And when I prepare my meals the night before or in the morning, everything's to hand, and it doesn't take very long. Okay, another worthwhile investment is some knives, some cutlery, some cooking equipment, pots and pans. They're gonna be around for a long time and you're gonna be using them a lot more than you think. So get some good quality sharp knives, make sure you get some good cookware and make sure you have enough. Buying cheap stuff can burn the food, you're gonna break it, you're gonna to have to buy new stuff. It's like with a car. If you have that Ferrari, you're not gonna buy cheap parts to put or replace on it. You're gonna put premium parts on. It's your body. How good do you want your body to be? Ask yourself that. So we're gonna cut the chicken breast into some chicken tenders. Again, increasing the surface area means it cooks faster too. By putting a big chicken breast onto a pan or into the oven, it's gonna take a long time to cook all the way through. And we haven't got time to wait, especially wait for our food to cook. So we're gonna increase the surface area by cutting it into chicken strips. Careful with the fingers. Now, like I said, we have about maybe 60 grams of protein there on a large chicken breast. Now, this is, would be enough for two meals, really. Now, how rigid are our protein, carbs, and fats each and every meal? It's there as a rule of thumb. If you have a little bit more protein in the morning, less so in your second meal, but a little bit more in your third and fourth, and again, less in your fifth and sixth, that's okay. Just bear in mind that you wanna try and get the same amount of protein each and every day. And if you can, the same meal. It just keeps it more consistent and keeps a more regular flow of uh, energy and calories going into your body. Now, we could just have that plain. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna wash my hands again because I've touched meat. Always use the same cloth and the same cutting board and knives for different meats and foods. So I'm always gonna change them over. I'm gonna add a little bit of spice, a little bit of flavor of this. People ask me, how do I, how do I eat clean, nutritious, healthy foods all of the time? I make different combinations. I add different herbs and spices to the same meats that I might have in the same day because I can cook them at the same time, but they taste completely different. I've got one here. It's a type of uh, proprietary blend pepper. Now, a really good pepper is cayenne pepper. Again, it's a thermogenic like cinnamon. It's gonna increase your metabolism and rev your body's fat burning capability of burning calories at a higher level, even at rest. So these are superfoods. By eating these foods with certain spices, red pepper, cayenne pepper, cinnamon, it's gonna boost your body's ability to burn more calories. How good is that? Burn calories whilst you're eating the food. One thing to consider here is sodium. Now, sodium is basically table salt, and we don't wanna have much sodium in our diet. A limit is perhaps two to three grams at most throughout the day. That certainly doesn't mean adding any in. But sodium will cause you to hold water, so you get bloated, and it's also gonna disrupt your sodium and potassium ratio. Now, we don't need to go into that, but there's certain nutrients and chemicals in the body micro and macronutrients, micronutrients are the, the minerals and vitamins that we need to maintain at a certain level. 
Uh, and by disrupting those, by having too much sodium in our diets, we're gonna offset that balance and create problems elsewhere. Again, this smells amazing. Dark pepper, mix of proprietary blend peppers in there, um, ready to cook. How are we gonna cook it?